Hey everyone, this is Greg Finn, Camel River Guys Service, coming to you from Lake Sam Rayburn. And uh, this is the very end of, of November 2018, and man, have I got a show for you today. You're not going to believe this. Number one, I want to show you a new piece of equipment I put on the pontoon for, for crappie guiding. And number two, uh, I caught about a 40-pound flathead Opelousa catfish this morning. I got that on film too. So it's pretty neat. I'm out here by myself doing a little filming, but I want the, the reason I did this show, number one, I want to show you this new piece of equipment that I got. It's the Garmin Panoptic Live Scope. And it is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it in my life. There was a time I probably wouldn't even care if I had anything like this in my boat, but I'm a guide and I need to put people on fish. And when you, my guests, come out and fish with me, I want to put you on these fish as soon as possible, determine the depth as soon as possible. And so I was, I'm able to do that with this live stoke even better uh, than before. It's unbelievable. I'll go through the details today. I'm going to show you crappie biting a minnow. And that is the only way I knew that crappie was on my line. I was using a six pound test line and I could not feel those crappie bite. I had no slack in my line. It didn't swing out, nothing. I just saw on my on the uh, transducer, the live scope, I saw the crappie go after it. I raised it up, big slabs. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna show you that today. And then, then as I was just about getting ready to go, I hooked into a big, must have been a 40 pound op cat and I've got that on film too. I did release it. I didn't want to fool with it today, but uh, unbelievable show. You're going to have a good time. So make sure you watch it from start to finish, share it with all your friends and listen, I'll talk to you later, but I really appreciate you uh, watching my, my videos. Uh, I get a lot of feedback from it. I'm excited about fishing. I love it. This is what I do every day. So this is Greg Finn. Hope you enjoyed today's program. Have a great day. Come on out and visit us, www.camelriverguysservice.com, and I'll take you fishing. See you later. So here I am out here on the lake, and what I'm doing is introducing a new feature. Now, those of you who have been with me, you know that I already had the Hummingbird 10 inch, which uh, gives me down scan, uh, gives me uh, side imaging, sonar. I also, so, and that's in the back of the boat. Also, over here, I have the sonar that's uh, under my Minkota Altier uh, in, the, in the transducer. But I've added a brand new feature, and I'm really excited about it. And here is the new Garmin Panoptics live scope. And so I want to kind of show you what this will do for us. This is the nine inch unit, which is the largest that you can get it at right now um, with Garmin that shows that features the Panoptics. And so I'm going to turn it on right now so you kind of get a good idea of, of this. This is live scope. And uh, it just really came out not too long ago with the, the new feature, the newest live scope. And I think you're going to enjoy watching, looking at some of these fish, and we'll see if we can't catch some of them. So all I do is a touch screen. I'm going to agree to it. And then this is what your screen looks like. You notice here on the left side, that's your depths. And on the front uh, uh, of the very top, that's your distance from your live scope over to the actual object, a brush pile, pillar, uh, whatever we're looking at. Today, for demonstration purposes, I'm, I'm uh, underneath the bridge here at 147 in Sam Rayburn, and uh, I'm going to show you what crappie look at like. Now, of course, you got to have a transducer, and that's the key to the whole, whole operation is your transducer. Now, normally, if I were just fishing recreationally, I would have the transducer up here at the front of the boat uh, because that's where I'm going to fish. But you understand I'm a guide, so normally I'm in my captain's chair right here, and I'm looking at, I want to look at fish so that my customers up front uh, can, can be as successful as possible. Now, my transducer, if that being said, I mounted my transducer here on the side of the boat and uh, I kind of did a homemade job 
they there is no uh, holder or anything for a transducer for this purpose but I'll show you this in more detail what I did once I get back to the boat ramp but simply all I did do here on the side of the boat is deploy and lock it into place and what I did folks is I have it where it's 360 wherever this handle is pointing that's what I'm looking at right there so if you can see I'm pointing at the, the pilings right here and I, I hope you can see that and uh, we're going to around here and see if we can pick up some fish and some find out where exactly what these crappie are doing here you can already see is a pretty good uh, group of shed they're fairly uh, shallow so here's a good example now here at 25 feet deep I got a lot of crappie and then here's some more that are moving in a little bit more shallower uh, and they're just following shad around I can tell because I've seen a lot of balls of shad but these right here are holding tight to that pillar right there notice I have my panoptics this handle that I rigged up I have it pointing right at this pillar so I know I'm shooting this right here those fish are 25 feet deep and you can see they're about 15 12 15 feet over which is exactly what they are now what I'm going to do is take a minna just for demonstration purposes I'm going to hook this minna like I always do right in the lip bottom lip and come out a piece of his head so it does that right there now I want to show you what this thing does I'm going to go right here and I'm going to start dropping it and I want you to look they got a lot of fish coming in the way so you might not be able to see it but I can actually see I can actually see my line go down on this thing there it is right there. I don't know if you can see me kind of jigging it up and down right there. So I'm going to let it go down. Right there. See, there it is right there. That's me. And I'm going to get it down there right about where those fish are. And I'm going to jig it a little bit. There's one coming out to get it right there. He should have it right there. He's looking at it. It's the biggest thing I've ever seen. That's just a cluster of fish right there. And he came out a little bit, but he didn't get it. Yep, he did too. He was on it the whole time. I just didn't know it. He was on it. I just didn't know it. You know, he bit so light, I didn't know he was on it. And that's what a lot of these big crappie will do. I want you to look at this one right here. That son gun all had a net on him. Look how big this crappie is, guys. Now, I saw this crappie hit on my right here. It came out of this group right here. I saw him hit it. I knew he went over there to get it, but I didn't even feel the strike. I did not feel that strike. Is that incredible or what? This fish came out of that group right there. And I caught that fish because I could actually see my line go down and I saw fish jet out and hit it and that was that fish right there is that incredible or what let's do it again we'll put that fish back let's see if we can do it again I'm gonna try again on a minna Usually I'm fishing, I'm just sitting down here where I can show you folks because this is exciting. This is something brand new. Garmin Pan Optics Live Scope. All right, now I've got this thing pointed. I'm going to let this down and see if we can pick it up. It should be coming down the side of this pillar. There it is right there.
from letting it down. There it is right there, see, jigging right there. I'm gonna stop it right there. And I got a fish looking at it already right there. Right there, I'm jigging it. I think he got on it, he did. There he is right there. That fish came out and got it. I watched him do it. I watched that fish come out and get that, and get that right there. You don't think that ain't something? Man, I thought GPS was something. This, this, this live scope is amazing. This fish right here came out of that group right there. I lowered it down, I could see that minnow dancing. And that's what you got right there. The value of this is I'll bring my customers out and I can actually sit here and move, watch me move this handle. I can move it over here. I can look all the way around this thing, 3D is coming around, and I keep turning it till I kind of see where the majority of them are. But there they are right there. Those fish are 25 feet deep. If I didn't have this, it would be hard for me to know where they are other than just trial and error. But we're in 36 foot of water. You could drop a minute all the way to the bottom, reel it up, what, 11 times to get the 25. Let's do it again. The pan optics, it's just incredible. I wish my daddy was alive to see this. Man, if he'd have been alive this year, he'd have been 100 years old. He was born in 1918. But I tell you what, he would not have believed this. And I know there's a lot of you that's gonna say, oh man, you, you know, that's just going too far. Well, it might be. But I'm a guide and I gotta spend as much time putting my people on fish as possible. See, they're already starting to move down here even a little bit deeper. Oh, I forgot to watch my minnow. Let's just see. Let's see if I can find it. See, I went too deep. See, there I am. Uh oh. Look, see me bouncing that minnow right here on the bottom? Can you see that? Oh, well, those are below the fish. So now watch this. Now, if I didn't know no better, I'd say that might be where the fish are. I'm gonna bring that right up. Here I come. I'm gonna come right up here in their strike zone. Here it goes. I'm gonna get it right there to them. See that right there? That's about where they're at. I'm gonna see if I can't get one to come. Uh oh, I think there went one and got it right there. He got it right there. He got it. You see that? He he slipped over there and got it. They're biting this so light, guys. There no, there's no thump or anything. I want you to look at this. He just sipped over there and just sucked it down. Is that amazing or what? This, this crappie right here came out of that group right there. I'm gonna turn him loose. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. Now when I get back to the boat ramp here in a few minutes, I'm gonna show you this Pan Optics uh, transducer and how I actually uh, mounted it uh, on the side of my pontoon. And we'll get in that a little later. Uh, some people obviously would have it at the front of the boat. Some would put it on their trolling motor, but you can't put this, you cannot put a transducer on an Ultier or a, Minica, or a Motor Guide XI-5 because the shaft moves. So you gotta build something different. So I'll show you here in, in just a few minutes when I get back to the boat ramp, the, the rig I made. So I wanna, I was crappie fishing out here, guys. Just by the way, I was crappie fishing. And uh, I don't know what I've got hung into, but I do wanna take this opportunity to show you how tough these Wally Marshall, Mr. Crappie Slab Daddy rods are. I've got six pound test line, and I don't know what I got a hold of, but it's big. I can't hardly move it. It's done took my line out two or three times. And all I want to do is be able to see it. But you can see the fish on on here. It's something pretty big. Probably big old op. He ain't wanting to give up. And get him up here where you can see him a little bit. See that big fish right there? That's what I got on. And he's big, 
Big, big, big, big. I don't know, we're going to maybe get a look and see what this fish is, but he's big. Uh, I can't do nothing with him, I've had him on at least. I want, I want to do something, catch this fish or something other. I like to at least see him. I've had this fish on 10 to 15 minutes. Feel like I'm deep sea fishing here. I'm gaining on him a little bit. He must be wearing out a little bit. We might be seeing color here in just a little bit. Maybe. But I want you to look at this rod. This sun gun's bent double, ain't it? Woo, he's surging. Look at him surge. Six pound test line, folks. Wally Marshall Slab Daddy. You don't think these ain't good rods? I know there's some good rods out there, but for under $30, I'm going to tell you something. This is a good rod. Be. I, I know I keep saying he's big, but he is big. <laughs> I'm not making much headway on him. If I don't catch him, that's okay. I just want to at least be able to see it see the fish. I like to get him up where I can see what he is. I'm sure he's a catfish. He's either a giant high fin blue or a flathead I'm sure. He's coming up. There he is. He's big old big old flathead. Big flathead. I'm crappie fishing today. I know a lot of you fishermen like to have this fish. But I don't really want to mess with him. Boy, he didn't want to give up, I know that. Look at it. I got a, I got a two alt gold Aberdeen hook in that fish right there. That's amazing. How much you think that fish weighs, folks? Forty pounds at least. He down there swimming with them crappie. By myself today, I can use a little help. This is what you don't get for coming on a guide trip with me today.
like I said, I'm not gonna keep this fish. Just ain't my thing. But there's a lot of guys out there would like to have him. There he goes. Six pound Wally Marshall fluorescent carbon, uh, for fluorescent uh, monofilament, and a gold number two, or gold two alt, a gold two alt Aberdeen hook, polymer knot. It's amazing. At least a 40 pound fish caught on the Wally Marshall rod, I do put Mitchell 310C reels on there. That was a lot of fun. Okay guys, so this is the Garmin Pan Optics um, live scope. This is the actual reducer. Now here's what I did because I wanted my transducer right at my captain's chair where I could control uh, where I'm looking while my customers are fishing. So I attached it to this inch and a quarter tubing, hollow tubing, and you see what I did up here? I actually kind of figured this out. I, I bought a a uh, trailer um, jack and I cut the end of it off where you you turn the handle to crank it up and uh, I actually slid this tube inside of it and collared it on both sides and I mounted it here you can see I got it kind of secure right there and so what this does just like a jack you pull this out and you swing it around it locks in place. You can see that uh, the transducer is probably about 18 inches, maybe two foot below the pontoon. But the way I rigged it up is where I could turn it 360. So you see how it's turning down there? And wherever this hand, wherever this little piece of pipe is sticking out, that's what I'm looking at right there. Now I have a friend that mounted his similar, but not with the the uh, trailer jack, but he did the same tubing, but he put it up there in front where he fishes because he's a recreational fisherman. And he put it up there and actually drilled a hole through the pontoon floor so that this would lower up and down in the floor. But this is the way I did mine. You saw me use it out there. This of course is my Garmin unit. I'm looking at everything right here because, you know, I'm trying to put my customers on fish and wherever I turn this, that's what I'm looking at. When I get ready to stow it, I just pull this out and you can hear it click. And then I just kind of secure it right there. And that is, that doesn't go anywhere. Rides real nice. You just got to make sure that, you know, your transducers on the outside, nothing to it. Just good old ingenuity. I probably got about, I don't know, it took me a long time to build it, but you know, to get it just right. And I painted it and everything, but I don't have a whole lot of money in it. But it works for me. I've used it now four or five times out on guide trips and it's invaluable. Every fish I caught today, I would not have caught them. They were just sucking on that minna. They didn't hit it. They didn't line didn't go slack. They didn't move it. I was using a light six pound test line. I would not have caught those fish if I hadn't been watching them on the camera. That's a fact. So I thought I'd show that to you. I had a guy this morning at the boat ramp said, man, y'all patting that. And I said, no, that ain't my thing. I'm just a old country boy that likes to take people fishing. So come on out. I got this, got this whole new setup. It's a game changer. You're gonna catch fish with me when you come out, and if, if you ain't gonna catch fish with me, there ain't no fish to be caught. <laughs> so come on out with me. Book a trip, CamoRiverGuysService.com. I got a special running uh, this month of November and December. 
and uh, you can uh, book it camelriverguideservice.com or you can call my number 936-229-2370 and when you come out with Greg Finn that's me that's what you're gonna catch big old crappie thanks for watching appreciate you watching me on YouTube and uh, it means a lot to me all you subscribers out there and I appreciate it a whole lot I'm gonna go into the house and get this video ready maybe I can get it up by tonight y'all have a great day